Good evening, this is uh, Rashad Mitchell coming to you live from the YouTube channel. It's a continuing my part series, the week that was college football season review, the 1968 college football season. Tonight, we're talking about week 10, the games that were played on um, week number 10, November 23rd, 1968. This is week 10, so we've got about two more weeks to go after this week, and then we are done with this recap. Let's we'll start with the game of the year, which was Harvard and Yale. This matchup was played to a tie, 29-29. Yale ended up sharing Ivy crown with Harvard, but after watching its 29-13 lead evaporate in the last 42 seconds, the Bulldogs' fact felt final result was the same as a defeat between the tight end, Bruce Weinstein. Yale quarterback Brian Dolan scored on a run, passed the halfback Calvin Hill and Del Martin. For touchdowns and you know has built a comfortable 22 nothing lead. So desperate Crimson tied Crimson uh, coach John Yokison Yok Fickerson on um, Beckin sub quarterback third front champion from bench to deliver the 15 yard touchdown pass to end Bruce Freeman last 39 seconds half back before halftime. Trailing 22 to six, Harvard punted early in the third quarter. A rush of fumbles. Suddenly infected Yale. Fullback does quit. So he can intervene. Recovery of Eli Fumble and Punt. Yale still led 22 to 13, but coughed up more. Two more fumbles in third quarter. Dialing second. Running touchdown extended lead to 29 13. And as fourth quarter wound down, he drove Yale to Crimson 32 yard line. Yet another fumble. Yale 6 was lost on screen pass at Crimson 14 yard line. Harvard creates 14 play, 86 yard drive, a sack with Fritz. Reed made big play by alertly scooping up and carrying Champions fumble for 17 yard gain. And Freeman caught his second touchdown pass, Krim, best over for two points. So Harvard trailed 29 21 with 42 seconds left. And that's our kickoff. We recovered. The Crimson defensive back, Bill Kelly at Yale 49 yard line. Kevin Rand. 14 yards, face mass penalty, put ball at Eli 20 yard line. Cam's 14 yard draw was followed by two incompletions and two yard loss. Four seconds remain. The champion ran. Man, and in circles, looking for open receiver. Finally, sporting head back Vic uh, Gatto way over his over in left sector of end zone for touchdown with zero seconds on the clock. Champion hit tying two point pass to tight end Pete Varney. Harvard fans ecstatically swim the field in memory of the game, but never die. Next was West Virginia, beat Syracuse. A score of 23 to 6. Virginia beat Maryland by score of 28 to 23. South Carolina beat Clemson 7-3. Ohio State, the number two team in the country. Beat number four, Michigan. This is a matchup of two top four teams. Between your rivals, Ohio State and Michigan. Number two, Ohio State. Beat number four, Michigan. A score of 50-14. to Michigan tailback, Ron Johnson had 91 yards on 21 carry score. Two touchdowns for confidence record. 92-92 points for the season. But Ohio State got touchdowns from fullback. Jim Otis and quarterback Rex Kern. So Titans of Big Ten found themselves even at 14-14 in the second quarter. But 36 seconds left in the first half, Otis, who had 143 yards rushing, 34 carries and four touchdowns, bounced off tackle Rufus Mays, blocked for two-yard touchdown to finish the 86-yard drive, called the turning point by coach Woody Hayes. A leading step 21 to 14, the Buckeyes defense completely stonewalled Michigan in the third quarter, during which halfback Larry Zelina Added touchdown for 27 to 14 with Wolverines bucking strong fourth quarter win. They were blown away by 23 point Buckeye Hurricane. Win sent Ohio State on its first Rose Bowl trip since 1958. Purdue, the number 12 team in the country, beat Indiana by score of 38 to 35. Hoosiers had such high hopes for the 1968 season with Bevio starts back to defend the Big Ten title. Big Boilermaker star halfback Leroy Keyes punched away his brilliant career with four touchdowns, including the decision maker on a one yard run 
135 to play. Indiana scoffed at Purdue in early going, despite surprise appearance in the locker room by previously hospitalized Boiler Co Boiler's coach, Jack Mollenkopf. Hughes' role passing the wing of Gimpy quarterback Harry Gonzo through four touchdowns, 28-10 lead early in the third quarter as wide receiver Jay Butcher had three touchdowns, caught scoring pass of four and seven yards. Indiana's other scores came from Spitty sophomore halfback Bob Purnell, who had 115 yards on 17 carries and touchdown on game, launching 64-yard sprint. Wide receiver Eric Stahlberg's 26-yard reception from Gonzo in the second quarter. Purdue then set itself reversal as quarterback Mike Phipps suffered several drop passes by open receivers in the first half, hit keys with 46-yard slant and to set up fullback Harry Williams' two-yard touchdown plunge after keys scored to open fourth quarter to push Purdue within 28-24. Gonzo and Butcher retaliated with 29-yard touchdown connection for touchdown at the conclusion of 68-yard voyage. Keys got boost for 56-yard rainbow touchdown throw by scrambling Phipps. Suddenly, it was 35-31 in favor of Indiana. Bullers went 77 yards with set up and coming on tight end Gary Finner's 26-yard run with pound pass to one yard line. Remarkable key scored to finish the game with 140 yards rushing and three touchdown rushing and 28 carries and he caught six passes for 149 yards on touchdown receiving. Football has really seen talent like his since. Next, Kansas. Number 17 in the country beat number 13 Missouri. It's 21 19 for 17th time in 77 border meetings. It was opened to the side by fewer than four points. And Kansas prevailed partly because block conversion kick by defensive back Bill Hunt in the second quarter forced subsequent failed touch point two point try by Tigers in the first quarter. They also leaped to the 14 of the lead. With defensive back Dave Morgan had two interceptions for recovery. He turned the interception of Tigers first pass for 35 yard touchdown. Quarterback Bobby Douglas fired 33 yard touchdown. Wide well, receiver George McGowan, Missouri, which held slight offensive edge, got two run touchdown runs from halfback John Staggers. The trail 21 12 early in the fourth quarter. After the tight quarterback, Terry McMillan's 42 yard completion to wide receiver Mel, Blay, Mel Gray. He hit the hit. He hit tailback Greg Cook with two 10 yard touchdown, uh, 10 yard touchdown pass with 205 left. To play, kick made it 21 19. But the Kansas Jayhawks maintained possession on tight end John Mosier. 19 yard grab on third down. Next, Air Force defeated Colorado 58 35. Next, Arkansas, the number 19 in the country, defeated Texas Tech 42 7. Arkansas got rolling on defensive back Tommy Dixon's 28-yard interception touchdown return. Hogs then used sophomore duel to spark 304-yard offense. For 304 yards of offense, took back Bill Barnett playing with fractured toe. Ran for two touchdowns, caught 21-yard touchdown pass. Quarterback Bill Montgomery also ran for touchdown. Texas managed to now at halftime deficit to 14-7 win. Fullback Jackie Stewart was over for one yard line. Second quarter. The old bound Arkansas waited to see Texas Cotton Bowl fate on Thanksgiving, but had Sugar Bowl bid in back pocket. Arizona upset Wyoming, number 20 in the country, by score 14 to 7. Before record Tucson crowd, Arizona's number four ranked defense thoroughly corralled Cowboy running game, shutting down to the extent of 27 yards. Wyoming was forced to punt 12. 11 times and with its loss went 16 game whack winning streak at the exchange of first half touchdowns Arizona secured winning touchdown with 7-12 to play Wildcats pounced on a fumble at Cowboy 28 yard line and fullback Ed Mitch plowed over from one yard line next the Houston Cougars defeated Tulsa They were the level, level 11 team in the country. Houston beat Tulsa by a score of 100 to 6. Houston piled up 100 points for the first time since Connecticut beat Newport, Rhode Island, Naval Training School 125 to nothing. Wyoming trounced Northern Colorado 103 to nothing, both in 1949. Tulsa found itself in bad spot, giving up 49 points in fourth quarter because 15 stars began feeling puny from flu attacks. 
Cougars next to last touchdown eventually gained notoriety in country music circles because it was scored by sub wide receiver Larry Gatlin, who gained fame with singing Gatlin Brothers. Kicker Terry Lewak booted gains 100 point his 13th conversion kick and said he was never so nervous as he waited. Snap. Houston was on a scoring bench having beaten the Idaho 77 3 in prior week. Next, Southern California. The number one team in the country defeated UCLA by a score of 28 to 16. Southern California coach John McKay implanted doubt in minds UCLA defense by twice sending tailback OJ Simpson in motion right while classic fullback Dan Scott ran left off blocks of tackle Jack O'Malley. It worked well, but Trojan's most effective weapon remained OJ Simpson, who had 40 carries for 200 yards and three touchdowns, but whose season rushing totals of 334 yards. Season of 334 carries for 1,654 yards rushing became national records at that time. For its part, UCLA gained first half leads of 3 0 and 10 7 on kicker Zenon Andrews. He sent some 32 yard field goal and had back Mickey Creelton's first of two touchdown runs, trailing 21 16 in fourth quarter. Bruins reached the USC for one yard line at the 75 yard drive, but Trojan defense braced itself. Quarterback Jim Nader slipped down just short of goal line on third down run. USC halted fourth down play. Linebacker Jim Snow's interception on Nader halted last UCLA threat at USC's 43 yard line. And Simpson Simpson slashed for 17 to 26 yards and scored from the four yard line. The plays Bruins and Wounds. Only 40 carries, said McKay after he saw a stat sheet. OJ can dance tonight. Last but not least, the Battle of Oregon, Oregon State. Against Oregon, Oregon State, number 16 team in the country, beat Oregon by a score of 41 to 19. As the Beavers locked up second place in Pac 8 as halfback Billy Maine put them ahead for good 94 yards on a kickoff return for a touchdown in the second quarter. And fullback Bill Enhart rumbled for touchdown runs of 2, 12, and 1 yard line. 1 yards. The quarterback Eric Olson got Oregon back in contention with a 3 yard touchdown run. Early in the second quarter, that knotted it at 7-7, but Maine broke away from stuck duck special teamers at his 30-yard line and raced away for his uh, long kickoff return for a 13-7 lead. So Oregon State followed with touchdowns by Enhart and Maine for 27-7 balls by halftime, and Olsen gave Duck fans something to share about with 30-yard touchdown peg in fourth quarter that trimmed deficit to 34-19. He was wrestled away control of in-state Rivalry for the first time at 32-31-9 since winning initial meeting in 1894. So that concludes a look at week 10, the week that was. The college Sports Season Review for 1963, excuse me, 1968 College Sports Season from November 23rd, including the game of the year between Harvard and Yale, which ended in a tie 29-29. Here's the AP poll as of November 25th. Number one was Ohio State, number two, Southern California, number three, Penn State, four, Georgia, 5, Kansas, 6, Texas, 7, Tennessee, number 8, Arkansas, number 9, Notre Dame, number 10, Houston, number 11, Oklahoma, number 12, Purdue, number 13, Michigan, number 14, Oregon State, 15, Alabama, 16, Missouri, number 17, Ohio University, 18, Auburn, number 19, Arizona, number 20, Arizona State. So that concludes a look at the week that was college football season review, the 1968 college football season for the week that was from November 23rd, 1968, week 10. Please like to subscribe to the channel. Do feel the smack too tomorrow. As I try to finish this uh, look at the recap of the 68 season in college football. Until then, like, subscribe, comment. Until then, talk to you soon.